Sitting on about 200 acres of land, eight varieties of mango fruits are produced here at Orchard's House Farm Limited. These are produced for both local and international markets. The Agriculture Resource Center and Administration Farm is a home to mango varieties including apple, tommy, akins, pawin, dodo red and green among others. Sulaiman Githingji, the in-charge mango section says whatever they do is compliant with environmental standards. Actually, for a season, we, no, we normally make sure that we spray not more than four sprays. And we normally uh, have uh, very good chemicals, which are food safety. For us in this farm, we are global gap compliance. We normally use chemicals which are human friendly. We also keep bees. We make sure our chemicals do not destroy bees. And also, they are, uh, they are food safety because of export. The demonstration center also acts as a benchmarking point for modern farming. Government officials, students and farmers visit the farm from time to time. But whatever opportunities we have seen for investment, for cooperation with your farm, we are going to harness them. Okay. The fortunate bit, Professor, is that we've come at a time when we are in the budgeting process. So this gives us an opportunity to see what it is that we need to do as government to make you succeed. So that we do not only stop at this level, but we also go further into value addition, still in Nakasongola like you promised. Nakasongola is a semi-arid area. The farm is challenged by vagaries of nature which limit sustainable production. However, mechanisms are put in place to boost production. The trees here started giving us fruits within two years, two and a half. And I like the expected three years, three and a half years. Because of the, the climate, one of the things is that mangoes that I have seen here, they don't need a lot of water because this place is very dry. So the rains that come, are nearly sufficient. We do not irrigate these mangoes. The more the rains, the smaller the fruit and the less the sweetness. The more the, 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 the sun, we get bigger fruits and they are sweeter. So we have to compromise. Rains for other crops and animals and the sunshine for, for, for mangoes. So once we have a lot of sunshine here, the fruits are very big and they are very sweet. This season we had 180 tons of mangoes. This season it has gone up. We have turned up to 220 tons of mangoes. Now the ones that you are saying we are just finalizing. We are just on the, within two weeks we are, we are done. At this time we are turning to 210. So we, we have like uh, 8 to 10 tons left. This makes it a hub for quality seedlings for all the eight varieties of mangoes. Those who visit the farm do not leave it the same way they came. Ventures such as horticulture, which has hubs, provides learning space for potential farmers. The apiary has over 500 hives from which they harvest, process and pack pure honey, venom and propolis. The ventures go on and on, including feedlot farming for fattening bulls for beef, as well as goat farming, breeding herds of over 500 goats, measuring on savanna and South African boar. Zahara Abigaba, UBC News.